What is going on guys, in today's video I'll be showing you the best streaming settings to literally stream on any PC. If you have a low on PC, the settings will work for you. But anyway, let's not waste any time and get into this video. So you want to go ahead and launch your OBS, then you want to head over to your file and settings. So once you head over to your settings, you want to head over to the stream. Now this is where you will be uh, selecting your services. So if you're streaming on Twitch, uh, YouTube and all that, you want to select it over here. So if you're streaming on Twitch, just click on that and you want to go ahead and connect your twitch account and that's how you will basically stream on that platform and once you're done just connecting your your streaming platform you want to head over to the output now we're basically heading over to that streaming settings so you want to click on the streaming tab now if you cannot click on the streaming tab you want to just put this on advanced and there you go you can click on it now now for your audio encoder you want to go ahead and put this on ffmpeg AAC. That's a long name, but just click on that. That's probably the only encoder you will have. Now for your NVIDIA encoder, if you do not have a GPU, don't pick NVIDIA because you won't see it there. You will find this and this will be the best setting for you if you do not have a GPU. Just click on that. So you want to go ahead and click on that. Now for your rescale output, what I would suggest doing with this is click on that and go ahead and put this on 720p like i said in my last video just go ahead and put this on 720p since this will be the best setting for the low end users if you have a good pc by all means put it on 1080p or 1440p you do you now for the encoder settings you want to go ahead and put your rate control on cbr which basically stands for consistent bitrate now your bitrate you want to go ahead and put this on 5000 this will be the best sweet spot for low end pcs if by all means if you want to just higher this up you can go ahead and higher this up the more higher you go the better your stream will look but your pc might suffer so i'll suggest putting on 5000 if it's bugging out your pc is still bugging out go ahead and put it on lower on 4000 maybe and just play with it around now for your key frame rate interval go ahead and put this on zero seconds now for your cpu usage preset go ahead and put this on very fast what i would suggest also doing is just put it on ultra fast at this point because it will help now for your profile you want to go ahead and put this on high your tune put this on zero latency since it will just be snappy and fast now for the most important step the x264 options i literally put this uh, command in my previous video you want to go ahead and copy this command and paste it down i'll leave it in the description so you can just copy and just paste it now what this command does is it just makes your cpu perform much more faster and it makes your pc also perform so much faster on obs and it just makes your stream much more faster so you definitely want to go ahead and copy and paste this in this option so once you're done with that you want to go ahead and just click apply and okay and your stream should be smoother right now but there's one thing that you can do so when you head over to your video now most people might be having this uh fps values on 30 and they're saying that oh my god my stream actually sucks because it's just not working it's just stucky well you go ahead and just want to put this on 60 frames just make sure that's on 60 frames since uh it will make your stream way much smoother uh, and this might be the problem for most people because it might be on 30 where it should be on 60 and that is the most smoothest uh, FPS that you can get in OBS. So once you click that, just click on apply and okay. And there you go, your stream should be uh, performing now much more smoother. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like or subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks like this. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.